Hi guys. Well, guess what? I did not come on on Monday to do my typical making it Monday. So I'm coming on on Friday because I was supposed to make it Monday. <laughs> hi, hi, hi everybody. So today is a quick do it yourself. This is the last do it yourself of the summer series for me. And it's one of my favorites and I hope it's something that you will write down, take home, share with all your friends because it's a really easy recipe. And so I put in my heading up there, why make your own do-it-yourself bug repellent? Gee, let's see. First of all, you're gonna smell freaking awesome. And uh, I don't know about you, but bug repellent kind of stinks. So having a bug repellent that you can, hey Donna, that you can make yourself and smell extremely attractive <laughs> to the other human species, but yet keep away all the bugs it's kind of a good thing, right? So that's the number one reason that you wanna make bug repellent. The number two reason that you wanna make bug repellent is because you're probably using bug repellent in the summertime, because that's when we hang out outside. In the winter, not so much, right? So when you're hanging out outside in the summertime, you're probably a little hot, right? How many of us, we sit outside, we're at barbecues, we're at the beach, we're hanging out, and the bugs are around and we're getting annoyed, but on top of it, we might be feeling a little warm. And if we're female, we might be feeling a little extra warm. And if we're over 50 and female, we're really feeling warm, right? So you girls know who I'm talking about. So when that's the case, how about some, a product that only not only smells good and keeps the bugs away, but also can keep you nice and cool and fresh in summertime while you're outside enjoying the outside weather, right? So that's the second reason why I love making my own do-it-yourself. And the third reason and the most important reason is because it does not have DEET in it. And all the chemical products out there today definitely have DEET. Mano Santo, we know he really is not a good person. <laughs> Although we know Mano Santo is not a person, but an establishment, and um, it just kind of sucks. So DEET, without getting into too much information, I have a cheat sheet that I usually go by, and I can tell you real quick that DEET is found in a lot of products, but mostly in bug repellent. Some of the things that happen to people who use DEET, of course, you could have allergic reaction to it. That's kind of common, guys. So even if nothing else, you're definitely gonna have allergic reaction. It is totally a hormone disruptor. It really is bad for your hormones. It really disrupts the endocrine system. Particularly if you're female, it can really screw you up. Um, it breaks down the immune system. It interferes with nutrient absorption. And of course, I'm not even gonna get into the C word, okay? I'm just not going there, okay? So, it can really do wreak damage on you, on your children, on your pets. Hello, if it kills bugs that well, it's gonna kill you that well. We're not looking to kill the bugs, we're just looking to keep them away from us, right? So today I'm going to show you a quick recipe. I'm gonna show you one where I'm adding an ingredient that you would have the option to add or not to add. But, really, really cool. Before I get started, for those of you who don't know who I am, who I am, my name is Kathy Dierinari. I am a silver leader with Young Living Essential Oils. I love to share products that can help you make your life easier, make your family healthier, and make you feel like you have the empowerment to do what you need to do to make your life chem free and just keep your family healthy and safe. So let me show you how simple it is, how easy it is, and you're going, don't thank me. Don't thank me now, thank me later, <laughs> all right? So let me get started. I just want to show you what I'm gonna do and how I'm going to do it. I think I, I printed something else out, but I don't know what I did with it. Okay, hold on one second. I printed something and I forgot. I always do this, I always forget something, always. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is get yourself a bottle. I love glass bottles. Glass bottles are the bomb diggity because when you're adding essential oils to a bottle, you wanna make sure that the plastic you're using is a plastic that is safe and doesn't is not loaded with chemicals. However, if you're using glass, you know for sure what you're using. Plastics tend to grab the, the oils and just contaminate them with the chemicals in the plastic. So grab these guys, you can get these on Amazon. They're super duper ridiculously cheap. I usually get a case of them and love them. On top of it, this is two ounces 
So I'm gonna give you a recipe for two ounces. This is enough. This is enough for, you know, if you're traveling, for your backyard, for the beach, this is gonna do, do you because you don't need a lot. A little dab will do you, all right? So the first thing I wanna show you is what I like to add to this. Now, here is a hack for all my Young Living friends out there. How many of you are aware that Young Living last year came out with an insect repellent? Yes, they did. So why make one when we have one? Well, one thing that I think most people don't realize with Young Living is that all their products, especially their liquid products, are highly, highly concentrated. So you don't need to carry this around with you. First of all, if you're using this straight out of the bottle, it's probably super ridiculously sticky, and it's probably not very comfortable. It may, you may smell fabulous, but I don't know if you need all that gook and stick, okay? So what I love about this is because it's concentrated, I only need a little bit to get it started. This is hyperallergenic, it's deep free, it's 100% plant brace, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak, it's Friday, right? Uh, plant, plant based, I'm sorry, plant based, dermatologist tested, hyperallergenic, shown to be 30% more effective than the top selling natural insect, insect repellents, okay, pretty cool. Um, rubs easily into skin without feeling sticky or greasy. 100% naturally derived plant-based ingredients. What's in here? Okay, so in here you have sesame, sesame oil, you have citronella, you have lemongrass, rosemary, geranium, spearmint, thyme, clove, vitamin E. Because not only are we gonna keep the bugs away, but we want the vitamin E because it makes us healthy and feel good, right? But I'm gonna give you a little hack. I'm gonna make this stretch. It's still gonna work super freaking fabulous, but you're gonna get a bigger bang for your buck. So the first thing you wanna do is a grab a tablespoon. I love my measuring tablespoon. I talk about my measuring tablespoon all the time. All right, so if you don't know where to get that, I don't sell Pampered Chef, but find somebody who does and let them hook you up, okay? So I'm gonna take my tablespoon and I'm going to end it. You know, they say it's not sticky, but it is a little on the sticky side. So what I suggest is doing this. And now you're gonna pour this into your two ounce bottle. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. I put one of those little funnel guys in there. Awesome. Okay, so that's, that's one tablespoon. I'm going to add a second tablespoon to this. Now here's the thing, folks. I'm gonna give you a recipe that if you don't have this, it'll still work, okay? So if you have the oils, but you don't have the bug repellent, I'm gonna give you a repellent recipe that's going to help you out. I like this. I think this is really makes it way better. All right, so I got my two tablespoons in there. Now, what are some of the essential oils that would really, really help keep the bugs away? Okay, well, I know citronella is already in here, but I'm gonna add five more drops. So grab yourself some citronella, and we're gonna add five drops of citronella in here. All right, so only five, that's all you need. Okay, the next one that you need is lavender. Why do we need lavender? Well, lavender is wonderful for flies. It's wonderful to help keep away mosquitoes. It's helped to keep away moths. Um, trying to see what else. It's, it's good for the, the flying things that are like, especially when you're eating outside in a picnic. All right, so lavender, I'm gonna put 10 drops of lavender. Now seriously, just think about how that's gonna smell. And now compare it to the, the over-the-counter bug repellents you're gonna buy at the supermarket. Um, hello, this is a no-brainer. Thyme, thyme is also in this, um, in this, it's already in here. So I'm only going to add five drops. What I like about thyme is it's great for beetles, it's great for jiggers, it's great for, um, trying to see what else it's great for. Saw it somewhere else. I think it's great for mosquitoes too. So you definitely want that, okay? So you're gonna add five drops of thyme. Again, because it's already, now I'll tell you this guys, if you're not putting this in, if you're not adding this in, 
then kick it up a notch and add 10 of each, all right? But if you already have this as your base, then anything that it already has the ingredients, you don't need to add 10, you only need to add five. All right, so lavender's not in here, so of course I added 10. At least I don't think there's any lavender in here. Nope, okay. The next one I'm going to add is lemongrass. Again, lemongrass is inside of this, all right? It's inside, so I will only add five drops. Okay, so you got five drops of that. The next ingredient that I'm going to add is sage. Why sage? Well, let's see, sage gets uh, keeps the flies away as well, so we like that, and um, there's always flies in the summertime. I can't stand it. Like, how many of you feel like that? Like, oh dear God, these flies. And you know, flies carry all kinds of illnesses and bacteria, and last thing you need is to be bitten by one, right? Because who knows what the hell is gonna happen then? So yeah, definitely sage, but sage is again in the, re um, no, sage is not in the repellent, so I'm gonna add 10 drops of sage, 10 drops. All right, 10 drops, okay. The last one that I'm going to add is peppermint. I don't know how much peppermint I have left, this is the cooler, guys. Remember when I was talking earlier and I said, you know, you're sitting outside. It's not just about removing the bugs. It's also about cooling off. Dear Lord, and the older we get and female, the heat is just oppressive. So definitely want to add the peppermint. But peppermint is also really, really good for the same things. You carry that to the beach. Works great for flies. Absolutely. It works great for flies. It's really great for spiders. So if you're like afraid of spiders, it's gonna keep the spiders away. It's going to keep fleas away. Oh God, it's good for your pet. So maybe it's something you wanna add on your dog's collar or on his leash or on his whatever, you know, like my dog wears like a little harness when I walk him. So peppermint works for a million different reasons. I'm gonna add 15 drops in here. If I have 15 drops. Fifteen drops, perfect. All right, so wonderful. Again, guys, just so we're clear, let's say you don't have this. All the other ingredients I just went over, just make them ten drops each, but still make the peppermint, the peppermint fifteen drops because you want it also not just to be a bug repellent. You want it to smell wonderful, and you want to also cool off. That's the whole point of this episode here. All right, so now we have um, two thirds. I'm going to say of this bottle filled. What am I going to add to extend it to, all the way to the top? I love using, where can you find this recipe? Watch it again <laughs> and write it down. Um, Nicole, are you a member? Are you a member of Young Living? If you're not, just message me and I'll tell you exactly. I'll send you the recipe and I'll tell you where to get everything. So the last thing that I like to do is top this off with witch hazel. The reason is because witch hazel is refreshing. It's good for you. It's good for your skin. So you can add water if you want. I happen to like witch hazel better. So I am going to top this off with witch hazel, which the bottle is still sealed. So let's take the little lid off. All right. Okay. It makes a great extender. So I'm not going to show this because I don't want it to spill by holding it up. All right, guys. So I'm just going to do this low. Sorry about that. Okay. And then I'm just going to, I need a little paper towel here, wipe down some of the spillage. All righty. You remember, awesome, awesome, awesome. So just rewatch the video. Just rewatch the video. Write down, it's pretty easy. I'll go over it real quick again. But here you go, I'm gonna shake this up really well. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of, it's not like very liquidy. It's a little gelatinous because again, as I've stated before, the repellent from Young Living is highly concentrated. All Young Living products are concentrated. Whatever liquid product you're using, they can definitely be watered down and you're still going to have all the benefits that you're looking for, okay? So 
I am done with this. I'm just gonna grab a label. I'm going to stick it on the bottle, write it down, bug repellent, and I'm gonna take this on my trip. Now, let's give it a whirl. Alrighty. Oh, it smells so good, guys, so good. So refreshing. Now imagine being on the beach or at the park and you're like cooking in the heat. Now you have yourself a bug repellent that's also your own personal air conditioner, right? And don't we love that? All right, so for those of you that are catching up on the replay or you're gonna be watching, you just want the ingredients real quick. If you have this, two tablespoons of the Young Living insect repellent, okay? 15 drops of peppermint. 10 drops of sage, five drops of lemongrass, five drops of thyme, 10 drops of lavender, five drops of citronella. Guys, if you don't have citronella, you can still make this product. If you don't have sage, you can still make this product. If you don't have lavender, you can still make this product. If you don't have this, but you have the oils, you can still make this product. You get what I'm saying? All right, so I'm hoping that this was a super easy recipe for you and you really enjoyed it. And if this is something that you're interested in and you wanna see more do-it-yourself videos, more ways to take your products and make them and extend them, definitely shoot me a message, leave me a comment, say, Kathy, I love this. And mostly, mostly, mostly share this out. Share this out with your team, share this out on your page. Let your friends and family know exactly how easy it is to make these products and how beneficial they are for you, your family, and your overall health. All right? With that, have an amazing Friday, and I will see you all guys next week. I'm going to take a hiatus for a week, and I'll be back uh, the first week of August. Till then, ciao, ciao, everybody. Have a great one. Bye.